I got into the fitness industry, it was like by chance, if you will. I was overseas um, in France and it was a language barrier, so it was a disconnect. Uh, but the one thing that's universal is both movement and music. So the individuals over there needed to get stronger and faster. So what I ended up showing them through movement was exactly how it was to become stronger and faster. That's when I started to see that I had a knack for having a strong influence on individuals to create change. And that's when I started to get into the fitness industry. I've been saying it, I want to say since 2007, it was mind right, body right. So I feel like it doesn't matter how strong you are, mentally you have to be stronger. So you have to know going into whatever it is that you're doing in life that you're able to accomplish it, you're able to achieve it. And once you can see that in your mind, you can hold it in your hand and you can obtain just about any and everything. A lot of times people do come in with what they think their goals are. And then I challenge them and I say, why? And then when they hear the why, they try to define it, but they can't clearly define it because they thought it was five pounds. They thought it was, I want to lower my body fat percentage, but it's an emotional connection to what their true why is. And when you're able to dive deep into the why, they have a true understanding of how to arrive at what their purpose is. And when they know their purpose, they can achieve just about any and everything. People sometimes confuse a manager to a leader. And a leader, literally, if you listen to the word, they lead. And they, they show by example. So you inspire people daily through the integrity of what you say and what you do. And when people see that, they can see it's uh, attainable. And then you give them that sense of inspiration and belief. If you're leading by example, that, that's the motivation that kind of keeps them going. The thing I always coach to, whether it's my, my athletes or just friends in general, is like return on relationships, uh, right, versus return on investment. I think a lot of times we think of things as transactions, uh, but relationships uh, is something that's more meaningful. Like when you have these deep, meaningful conversations, those things go a long way, and people now see you for a human versus this person that is just here to collect money.